Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the use case that allows the author to update the value of a RPD session variable for a given user request. Now here is my scenario. I have a table and a pivot table that displays revenue data by the default currency which is USD. I want these revenue values to be converted to its respective currency exchange rates based on the value that the end user would select at runtime. So select a currency is a parameter that I've created and set up on this workbook and it's got three available values, USD, Euros and Australian dollars, USD being the default. And the column converted revenue on the table and pivot table is coming from the subject area A sample sales that I'm using for this demonstration. Now we've added a feature in the product that allows the author to bind a parameter. In this example, select a currency to a request variable. By way of binding a parameter to a request variable, we can now update the value, the default value of the session variable for this particular user request. The RPD that I'm using has a request variable called preferred currency. So I'm going to uh, enter the name of the request variable as it is exactly defined in the RPD. And I'm going to map this request variable to the parameter that I just created called select a currency. I'm going to click OK. So what we have done is we have created a parameter that has a set of available values. And I've used a new request variable binding feature to bind this parameter to this request variable that's created by the administrator of the RPD that I'm using for this workbook. Let's preview this workbook as the end user would see. And any value that the end user passes is now passed on to the backend. Uh, the numbers basically change based on the currency code that I select on the UI at runtime. What's happening in this example is that the column that I'm using for my table definition is coming from the RPD that has the converted revenue value defaulted to USD currency. And uh, this default value is persisted in a session variable that is part of the RPD. And the new parameter binding to request variable feature allows us to update the value, the default value of the session variable, in this case, the USD currency to the currency code the user selects from the UI. And the revenue numbers are updated based on the currency conversion logic that is available as part of the RPD definition. To conclude the use case, I have also parameterized the tile label name and also the header name for the table and the pivot table. That way, any currency code that I choose as a user on the workbook at runtime is now passed on to the title of the tile and also to the header name of the table and pivot table. This provides a more seamless end user experience when using the request variable parameter binding feature for your workbook use cases. Thank you for watching this video.